As always, if you haven't done so already, please pause the video and take a moment to try the question on your own. We can begin this question by letting the wire on the left side of the figure be wire 1 and the wire on the right side be wire 2. It will also be helpful to assume that the direction that's coming out of the screen would be the positive direction and the direction going into the screen would be the negative direction. Now, in order to calculate the magnitude as well as the direction of a magnetic field that is produced by wires, we need to consult the following equation. So the magnetic field will be equal to a constant multiplied by the current flowing through the wire divided by 2 pi multiplied by a distance. We will see how all these factor into the calculation soon. Now, in part A of the question, we are being asked to calculate the magnetic field at a point that is midway between the wires, so we could mark a point as being approximately right there. And the idea is that because there are two wires, we are simply going to use this formula twice and then add together the resulting magnetic fields. In other words, the net magnetic field will equal B1 plus B2. One of the challenges in the question is to figure out whether the magnetic fields will be negative or positive, and for that we would have to look at a right-hand rule. Now in this particular right-hand rule, what we need to do is, of course, use our right hand and position our hand as if we were gripping an object. Our thumb will point in the direction of the current, which is labeled I, and then our four fingers will be pointing in the direction of the magnetic field, so we can draw a few magnetic field vectors showing that. To see how that's going to apply in this case, let's go back and consider the point that is midway between the two wires. Now applying right hand rule to wire number two, we would grip the wire pointing our thumb downward in the direction of the magnetic field, and at a point midway between the wires, hopefully we could see that our fingers would be curling in sort of this direction. And you just have to ask yourself whether that would be a direction that's out of the page or into the page. Though it might be hard to visualize it does indeed turn out that that is directed into the page. And because it's into the page, we're going to assign a negative value to the magnetic field produced by wire 2. In other words, B2 is going to turn out to be negative. When we grip wire 1, we would point our thumb upwards again in the direction of the current, and we would see that our fingers sort of curl in this direction. And once again, that would be directed into the page at a spot that's halfway between the wires. So because the magnetic field produced by wire 1 is also into the page, it too will have a negative sign. So once we understand that both of the magnetic fields are negative for part A, we can begin to plug into the equation. So again, for the net magnetic field, we are adding the two magnetic fields together. But remember that they're actually both negative, as we just determined. And then we've come over here and put in the respective expressions. Notice we've used subscripts of 1s and 2s to represent wire 1 and wire 2. Now since we're examining a point midway between the wires, we'll notice that the distance from wire 1 to that point would be not d, but d divided by 2. And then for wire 2, it would be the same distance, also d divided by 2. So we're going to plug those in for the r1 and the r2. And if you look carefully, the 2 that's next to the pi and then the 2 that's underneath the d will actually cancel out. And that will happen in this term as well as in the other term. So we're now ready to plug in the known values. Remember that the currents, I1 and I2, were the same, and they were both 5 amps, as stated in the question. Mu naught is a constant that is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th. And then when we plug in D, we see that it was stated as 10 centimeters. That needs to be converted into a standard unit of meters. So to do that, of course, we just move the decimal over 2 times. So we'll be plugging in 0.10 meters. And when you compute that, you should get negative 4 times 10 to the minus 5. And it's a magnetic field, so the unit will be Tesla. And because it came out negative, we're going to stick to our convention that negative is into the page. So the direction of this magnetic field would be indeed into the page. We're next in part B going to head over to point P1. So the total magnetic field, of course, again, will be B1 added to B2. We're going to use right-hand rule to determine whether these are positive or negative magnetic fields. If we grip wire 1 and point our thumb upward in the direction of the current, we can see that our fingers will be curling their way into the page. And because they're into the page, the magnetic field produced by wire 1 will indeed be negative following our convention. For wire 2, again, gripping the wire, pointing our thumb downward this time, and 
aligning our fingers at point P1, we can see our fingers are curling out of the page. And as such, the magnetic field for that will indeed be positive. So B2 is positive. The remaining challenge is to figure out what R1 and R2 are, which are those distances to the points. From the figure, we can see that the distance from wire 1 to point P1 is not just D, but 2D, as marked on the figure. And then the distance from wire 2 to point P1 is just 1D. Now all the values are known. Mu naught was the 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th. I was the current which was known. Remember that D, the 10 centimeters, needs to be converted into 0.10 meters. And when you compute this, you should get positive 5 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. And because it's positive, we'll follow our convention and note that it would be out of the page. Now on to part C, where we're looking at point P2. We'll apply right-hand rule to determine the signs of the magnetic fields. We wrap our hand around that wire, point our thumb in the direction of the current. We can see our fingers would be curling their way out of the screen as opposed to in. And because of that, B1 will indeed be positive. Instead of redrawing the hand for wire 2, we'll just note that the direction of the current has been reversed. And if that's the case, that means the magnetic field direction will be reversed. That means B2 will be negative. The distance from wire 1 to point P2 is stated as 2D, and then the distance from wire 2 over to point P2 is the 2D plus an extra D to make 3D. And once you plug in all the known values and calculate that, you should get 1.67 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. And because it came out positive, that means that the magnetic field overall is directed out of the page. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own questions.